Hey guys, a new product here for the Skeeter FX and I-Class Series Bass Boats. It's a corner mount battery disconnect um, bracket. These fit the Blue Sea Systems um, M Series. Um, they also uh, fit these generic um, battery disconnect switches you can get off of, off of Amazon or eBay. So in this video, I'm gonna go through and detail an install I did for a customer here in North Alabama. Um, on his, I think it was a 2008 I-Class. Anyways, um, he's wanting to clean up uh, the electronics in his bilge compartment and he wanted one of these brackets. So right now you can see um, the bracket, if you bought this one, it would come to you like this. But if you peel off the protective um, coating here, it is a 100% transparent um, UV resistant plastic bracket. All right, so there are multiple mounting locations. So every 45 degrees, you have a mounting hole, so you can clock the battery, uh, the, the switch, like this, like this, so on and so forth, to accommodate whatever angle you need. Um, this is plastic, but it won't fade. It won't uh, yellow. It's UV resistant, and it's super strong. It also has a ton of sp spring back. It won't break it's not going to shatter um, as you can see didn't bend it at all so super strong super sturdy and i think you'll be more than satisfied with it it allows you to relocate um, your switch to the corner of your bilge compartment so you're not having to reach down in um, and find your switch whenever you pop your bilge compartment lid it's right there just like on the ranger boats um, this is a Skeeter, it's a 2015 TZX 190. This bracket will fit it, but I make smaller brackets that are a little more compact, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But um, now I'm going to go through the install. I'm going to have to talk over it um, because we were discussing random stuff. I wasn't really going through the install while I was doing it for this guy. So I'm going to detail everything step by step in a voiceover of this install video and let me know what you think of these in the comments below also make sure to like and subscribe to the channel um, i appreciate every customer i really do um, these are 100 percent designed by me and made 100 percent in the united states of america so thanks for watching you're going to want to take the bracket and hold it up to the corner of your bilge compartment lip and you're going to want to mark the locations of the mounting holes. Um, I recommend doing this one side at a time um, and I would use like a silver sharpie. Once you have the first side marked you can go ahead and start drilling the holes out. Go slow. Um, yeah just take your time with this part. There's no reason to go fast for any of this. Once you have the holes drilled for one side, you can go ahead and mount that side of the bracket to the bilge lip. You don't have to secure it all the way down, but you need to at least put the fasteners through the bracket into the bilge lip so that you can mark the other side. Once you have the other side marked, um, remove the bracket completely and then drill out those holes. The reason why I suggest doing this one side at a time is because not everything is perfectly square and you might have to kind of 
bend or flex, I guess flex is a better word, flex the tabs to get everything to line up. So if you just put the bracket in there, mark all the holes, um, you're really subjective to how you are holding the bracket whenever you mark the holes, which may have not been perfect or ideal or necessarily in the right spot. So if you kind of start on one end and work your way um, to the other end, and the ends being the sides, basically, um, that's probably going to be the best route to do this. Once you have the bracket installed, then basically all you have to do is install the switch. So it's going to take four uh, screws. If you're using a Blue C system switch, the 6000 series M series Blue C system switch, you're going to need three inch number 1024 uh, fasteners. And I will provide those and it's nylock nuts. These fasteners will also work for the generic blue. These fasteners will also work for the generic switch. Um, it's really kind of unbranded. You can get it off of Amazon and eBay. The only downside is you're gonna have excess threads hanging out the bottom because it's kind of an overall more compact and shorter switch. Once you have your switch mounted, uh, that's it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video if it helped you out, and if you need one of these brackets or any other type bracket, or maybe even something custom, go to rocketcityoutdoors.com, look at what I have available. If you need something else, uh, make sure to hit that contact button and reach out to me through the website's contact page or email me directly at rocketcityoutdoors.com at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.